in the ring before the count of 10 had expired. Therefore, he and his partner have been declared the winner by the referee as time ran out with three of the men out on the floor. On top of him, one. Don Kent rolled him off in time. As you've seen throughout the match, we just may have a new champion here tonight in Steve Kovac. He has been in control of the match most of the night. Don Kent bleeding profusely above the right eye. Here he goes, the airplane spin. Round and round and round. Down he goes. Kovac on top of him. One, two, just in time. Again, we just may see the new NWA Mid-America champion tonight. Don Kent, now holder of the belt, may be dethroned by big Steve Kovac. Kent refusing, however, to give up. He keeps fighting back. There you see it, the abdominable stretch. Don Kent able to break out of it in time. Another right to the midsection by Kovac. Into the ropes. There he goes. Another abominable stretch. However, Kovac was spun out of it by Don Kent. The referee is down. In spinning him out, he, knocked, he threw Steve Kovac into the referee, knocking him down. Both men now a little bit shaky from that fall. Against the ropes. There you see it. He's got him down. He has Kent. The referee's still down, not able to get to it. Don Kemp knocks out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, all night long, Steve Kovac has been coming back again and again. There you see it. He knocked his own manager down, pushed him through the ropes by Steve Kovac. The abominable stretch. Ladies and gentlemen, you saw that. Sorry, Clements, the manager of Don Kent, reaching in through the ropes with his umbrella, hitting Steve Kovac right in the head. Don Kent on top of him. Two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, you saw it right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, at the Memorial Auditorium. Sorry, Clements, again, saved the belt of Don Kent by climbing in the ring and making a save such as that. He actually saved the belt from for Don Kent. Steve Kovac still in. Once again, still the NWA Mid-America Champion, Don Kent. And Jerry Lawler is in trouble, no question about that. He's been in trouble several times in this match. He's had Sam Bass on the ropes a time or two, but right now, through the combined efforts of all three men, Jerry Lawler is definitely in trouble. Count Drummer working on him, puts him off the ropes, comes back, a back body drop high out on the mat, goes Jerry Lawler, as the Count continues to work him over. Made a motion that time, he wants him to set up the old knee, and into that knee of Sam Bass goes Jerry Lawler. The Count is being, no, I thought he was coming out, but he's still in there. Duke Myers right there with him. The Duke is going to take over now as Count Drummer goes out. Lawler has not uh, been able to make a tag. He'd like to get Sam Bass in there again. He's had two or three shots at him, as you know, so far. But not the big one that he wants, where he can really set him up for the kill. And now Sam Bass is coming in to work on an almost helpless Jerry Lawler, and he'll relish that thought. This is the only way he wants any part of Lawler, when Lawler is almost helpless. Look out, Lawler's not helpless yet. He's going to go after Sam Bass, but look at that. Right away, Duke Meyer interferes. And that has been one of the big troubles of this match. Every time Lawler has an opportunity to get his hands on Sam Bass, either Myers or Count Drummer seems to be right there to interrupt things. He has got several good pops at uh, Bass. Look at that. But he hasn't got that big one he wants. He hasn't really got uh, had an opportunity to pour it to Sam Bass yet, and that's what he wants. Off the ropes, Lawler's ready for him with that elbow. Right on top of him, drives it home. Duke Myers comes in, Marlin comes in, Tojo comes in, what happened? Lawler's in there now, and right beside him is, whoa, look at this. Whoa, he kicked him. He kicked him. 
and Lawler is on top of Count Drummer, and that's the win and the match. Lawler is working on Sam Bass. Look at that. He's got Sam down on the floor now, and boy, he is pouring it to him. Sam Bass is helpless. Tojo standing by, Eddie Marlin standing by, and Jerry Lawler has Sam Bass flat on the mat, and he is pouring it to him with that big right fist. Marlin and Tojo standing by in case Meyer and the Count Drummer tried to come back in the ring to rescue Bass. Tojo's ready, so is Marlin. They're pulling, Marlin's trying to pull Lawler off. He doesn't want him to beat the man to death here. He's just sitting on top of Sam Bass, pounding away with that right hand. Blood coming from Sam Bass's face. Lawler pinned Count Drummer, I believe it was, for the actual fall and the win. And then he went right after, look at that, he knocked Eddie Marlin down. Marlin was trying to pull him away, but Sam, but uh, Lawler would not be pulled away. He knows Marlin's his friend, but he doesn't want to be bothered right now at this time because this is the moment that he's been waiting for, to get Sam Bass right in that ring, and he's got him there, and he has really worked him over in the last two or three minutes. Tojo is in there now, and he's putting the pressure on Count Drummer. Count hit him right in top of the head and knocked him down. Now they have pulled Bass out of the ring. Bleeding, he's heading toward the dressing room. Boy, he's bleeding too. Make no mistake about that. Blood coming out of his face, off his head, as he goes toward the dressing room. Held up by Drummer and by his two partners. He's coming over here now. That jerk right there, I want him in a chain match, Harry Thornton. I want him chained to me in that ring. I will kill him. I want 